Hey everyone, uh, Bo here from CG Scapes, and I just wanted to put out this video really quick as a tip for using full precision UVs. So let's just dive right into it. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. I'm in here in uh, Unreal Engine. And right now, this is a nanite object and you can see right here that I have nanite support enabled and then I have set up the LODs as well but the good thing about this you know when you're using lumen is that you can you can basically you know make as many copies of this as you want into the distance and you know start creating some cool stuff that's a benefit to using nanite obviously and um you know if you switch to from uh, lid mode to the uh, path tracer you know you'll notice that there's this weird pixelation going on you can see that right here so we're actually going to fix that but you're actually you're supposed to use um, you know you're supposed to turn off nanite when if you want to use the uh, path tracer so what we're going to do is we're going to do that so we're going to come to we're going to click on the object if you go control spacebar and you go to the model section wherever your models are stored in this case right here if you double click on this then it'll take you to this window here. So now what we can do is basically just disable the Nanite support. So we'll apply changes. And as you can see right here, there's a little bit of uh, pixelation going on once you disable that, but you go to path tracer you can see right here although it looks awesome the uh, pixelation is still there so how do we fix that let's fix it really quick and if you look here by default uh, you know, static mesh comes in and, and uses half precision UVs. So it's 16 bit UVs in order to, uh, you know, save memory. Um, what we want is full precision UVs, which is 32 bit. So in order to fix that problem for these, some of these high resolution meshes and uh, multi UDIM assets, We'll just go scroll down a little bit here and we'll check the so we'll check the useful precision uvs right here and we'll just click that on and we'll go down and apply the changes all right let it do its thing and as you can see, there we are. It's been updated and everything is awesome. So if we go back to the path tracer here, you can see here that we have everything working correctly. And yeah, looks pretty awesome all right <clears throat> so that's how you fix that and uh, anyway thank you all for the continued support and I will see you in the next video all right <laughs>